Well, hello everybody, and uh, a belated Happy, Happy New Year. Year! As I say, this is our first video of uh, 2021, and we thought, what better place to start than looking back on 2020? So, these are some of the people that we met in 2020. So those are some of the amazing people that we met in 2020 and Dave and Lindsay of Desmond Donders was our first wild camp wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So we, where was we that? With them that and that was at Runzig Bay. That's right. So on we, the 5th of January? 5th of January last year. Yes. So we did that then we went from there to... Then our second one was just a couple of weeks later and we went to uh, Scolby Mills where we met up with uh, <laughs> it's looking at me not the camera <laughs> where we met up, up with chris and sarah yes of yorkshire van life yes. so that was well that's it we'd gone to surprise them hadn't we yes and then she ended up surprising us yes then we ended up going to was it kate and bear after that yes where we met up with the boom dockers and chris and sarah oh uh, and, and we met that um famous phil but yeah, no, it wasn't famous, Phil. What was it we said? Yeah, that famous Phil, wasn't Off it? Off the one show. Off the one show, yeah. yeah. So after after that, we then went back to Scobby Mills again, didn't we? Because was it after that? Was it after that one? No, was it? Yeah, because we had Dear Release. That was before, that was before, oh no. You had Scarborough, then we had Dear Release, because we were in, ended yeah. up on that fir the first lockdown. Then it was... Kate and Bear. Then it was Kate and Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Kids looking at me, not the camera. Uh, yeah, so it was Kate and Bear. Then where did we go? Well, then we went on holiday. No, I'm sure we did something else before that. Did we? I can't remember. Kate and Bear. We did, sorry, yeah, Day Release, Kate and Bear. Then we went up to the Peak District, didn't we? Yes, on holiday. On holiday. We were on holidays. And then our trip to Wales. Yes. And then after Wales, it was... 
Willow Fields. Willow Fields to finish with. Yes. Then we went to Southgate. No, we went to uh, Kielter. Oh, yes. Yes, we had a, a weekend in Kielder. That's an amazing place there. So after Kielder, then it was... Then it was up the mowers. Castleton. Castleton. We did um, South Gary as well, where we met yes. Tom with his um, horse boxer he was converting. Yes. And then we've had one uh, a day, just a day trip to, to Redcar, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. So, so although we we have been restricted on what we could do, we still managed to get about a bit. And here's a little bit of what do you call it when you put a little bit of a compilation? A compilation? Yeah, we're going with that. A little compil compliment compil You said compilation of last year. <laughs> So those were some of the amazing places that we managed to get to last year, even with the COVID and the restrictions. And we also managed to get most of the van complete, didn't we? Yes. Last year because of our being at home a bit more, having a bit more time at home. So we've got the majority of the van finished, but the van is never finished. 
So we've got a few jobs still to do in here and obviously we're on with the painting, aren't we, of the roof. But we can't do that, obviously, till the weather starts to improve. But I also got the opportunity to uh, extend on the Avery last year as well, didn't I? Mm. On the, the Budgie's Avery, that is. Wow, this is massive. This is huge when you're in here. It's hello, I'm good for this week. <laughs> right, it's all been done. We went to bed last night and I've locked them in the bed because now I've been able to get in and finish it. So here we go. Well, don't all fly out. They're not going to come out now. They've been in there that long. They'll be in a mood with me. Here we come. I'm gonna I'll have to come out. Oh, here they come, look. Hello. <laughs> come on then, don't be shy. Come on. Yes. Hello, yes, hello, bingo. Hello, Marshall. Yes. Are we all coming out of town, you hear me? Yes. And we've got out. One, two, three, four. Oh, hang on. How many? Oh, I forgot to screw that in, didn't I? Let's have a go. Oh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's all out, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've got Misty coming. Oh, we're then Misty. Come on, Misty. That's it. Whoa, down the slide. Hello, Misty. So as you can see from there, we've managed to get those things done. And as I say, moving forward this new year, we've got a few jobs to get on. I'll have to get that, the gas hob. Oh, the, the thermal couple. Coupling. <laughs> the thermal coupling. Yes. So, I, so I'll have two rings instead of just one. Yeah. Or two with a bit of so water. So I think that's a priority, isn't it? So I need to look at, Doing the thermal coupling, I've got a couple of ideas about the seating that I'm maybe thinking of changing. And there's also the painting of the van, which we can't do really uh, until the weather improves. But Jane, thanks to Brett and Beck Valley Van and the, the log he, he made for us with our logo on, which we do really love. Um, Jane's gone into pyrography, haven't you, my darling? Yes. Is yes. it pyrography? Yes, it is. Anyway, I'll lay show you what Jane's been doing. At Christmas, Graham bought me a pyrography kit uh, after I was inspired by Brett and Beck Valley Van. This is their channel. And this is the beautiful step that he created. He's also done other bits in his van. So if you go and look at their channel, you can see all the wonderful pyrography and I think he's on uh, doing a piece at the moment, a new piece for his van. These are some of the things that I've been working on. I've done the woolly cord. He's really fiddly. He's not quite finished yet. He needs a van and some other things put on. Um, and I've also done a wood slice and then I did a very similar one slightly different and I've used tea to stain the background and beetroot to colour in the heart 
I'll show you the setup that I have. It's my setup. This is the machine, the pyrography machine that Graham bought me. Uh, it has a temperature control so that you can either make light burns or dark burns. And this is the pen. Uh, you unscrew the sides there and you can swap out the nibs for all these different sorts. I'm just learning what each one does. Some are for shading and things like that. But I found that I like this one with the, um, the roller ball on the top. It's a bit like using a biro. It's quite smooth and easy to work with. Um, these are some of the things that I've been practicing with. A lot of them I've just sort of like printed off a picture and like the woolly cod. Photocopied it, cut it out and I've cut it on a, a coaster and a bit of carbon paper. Then you go along the outline with a pencil so that when you turn it over you've then got your image which you would then slowly burn because pyrography is something that you have to you have to do slowly it's a bit like colouring in for adults it's very calming um, very relaxing and I'll be able to do this for a long time because Graham's bought me these size which would be suitable for like fridge magnets stack of coasters um, hearts, oops a daisy I've got a stack of those to work on and I've also been going around the house and I found a wooden spoon so I had to do that then I found a paintbrush so I had to draw on that and like Graham said it's going to have to keep me well stocked up with wood otherwise I'm going to be drawing on the furniture <laughs> <laughs> a few um, pyography items in the van but anyway that's for the future but it was just to, to let you know we're still here uh, and hopefully we'll get some more regular videos out but as I say with the restrictions at the moment it, it's quite difficult so bear with us and a big thank you to each and every one of you who've subscribed and watched our videos over the previous year and hope you'll stay with us in the coming year so for now bye, bye for now, now.